Hey guys, today we're gonna do something real fun. If you haven't checked out the Compton Cowboys, they're all over social media. I've been following these guys for quite some time. I was out at a show in Burbank. It was so close, it just worked out to where I was able to get a hold of them and bring our big rig right here to Compton. And um, come check these guys' program out. They've got, they're doing incredible things with kids. You know, I just wanted them to see what reining horses are like. And I grew up riding real similar to this. Um, a matter of fact, I grew up in Long Beach, which is not very far at all. Dad, how, this is my dad, Henry. Dad, you're on- 10 miles. I'm on how, how, how far away from uh, from the house is? About seven miles. Seven miles, so I mean, this was right around the corner. I actually had no idea that they were out here. Let's go over, they got some kids here today. Let's go talk to these guys, and like I said, I'm gonna go ride in the back, and maybe they'll do some riding. Let's meet the head man here, Randy. What's the deal? Welcome to Compton, Richland Farms. Uh, we in California. <laughs> right? Yeah. California boy yourself, actually. Just so you already know what the deal is. About seven miles. That's what my dad was just saying down, you know, yes, where we're sir. from. Um, man, welcome to our town, Richland Farms. It's a beautiful place. Real horse folk down here, people that love the land and love the animals. Um, and uh, we running our kids program from over here. We're paying it forward. Some of our young cowboys we got, you know what I'm saying, out here. They just amazed to see what Matt is doing and what he's brought down here to the ranch and uh, yeah, we're here, so. You know, like I was telling you, you know, I've been watching you guys from afar on social media, seeing all the good stuff you're doing and I'd like to come check it out, which is why I'm here. And I love seeing these kids here. I like them to see, you know, I grew up just down the road and yep. horses have been amazing for me. I've been all over the world. And I've got, I got this rig now and you yeah. know, I mean, I do this, I do this for a living. So I think, I, you know, any chance we can show these kids that, you know, if you want to do it, you can, you, you know, no, nobody's going to stop you. That's what it's all about. And especially for our people, cause you know, we get, put in the shadows a lot of times. Right. People run off with our culture and our, our lifestyle and our, our essence. So we're just trying to reclaim all that, you know what I'm saying, and instilling our kids like, yeah, no matter where you're from, you're from around here, you could get right off in there too and do the same exact thing and do it even better. You know what I'm saying, be a shining star in that. And uh, that's what it's really all about though. But really it starts with introducing the kids into just the love of the horse, you know, just the, yeah. the, the ranching and the farming and the whole outdoors lifestyle. Cause where we come from, a lot of that is missing especially here in the inner city in Compton and all the surrounding areas, like they don't have nature space, you know? So right. What we're doing is making it important to say, okay, we gotta put a ranch here, we gotta grow, have a garden here, have horses here and other animals. So these kids start to appreciate life at an early age. And then when they get old, as they get older, uh, that translates into how they move about the world because they have a love and appreciation for life and all things living and nat natural. So they're less likely to want to hurt them their fellow human being. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And so it, it means all the difference. But yeah, welcome down, man. Appreciate you. We gonna vibe. You feel me? Let's uh. Let's, let's I got I got a horse here ready to go. I let's get back there. Let's go check it out. Uh, yeah. Let's go check yeah. it out. You want to ride one, Alyssa? Nope. Oh, by the way, here's my sister. My sister Alyssa. You guys saw her. She was suited up on Facebook the other day. She's got like over 300 people commenting on her. Mount a patrol photo. Yeah, I'm just here to support Matt today. Let's go back and ride. Emma, I got your horse, I'm telling you now. Here it is. I've been watching you guys almost every day on Instagram. I'm gonna ride her around a little, Randy, and then if you're up for it, you could jump on and try her out. No doubt. The big thing with these guys is they just have such, you know, I mean, obviously I'm doing it for competition, but they're so good for everything. They, they got like power steering, power brakes. Yeah, so this, this horse here, our daughter, she showed it in Las Vegas at a uh, big event called the Run for a Million. She showed it in the rookie class there just, just uh, a couple months ago. Oh, 
So these guys are pretty much bred to do this. So it's pretty instinctive for them, but then it's just all the, the you know, the hours of training. Some are better than others, just like, you know, just like athletes. Some play basketball better than others. Everybody can play, but not everybody's good. So tell me, before I jump back on, let her catch her breath for a minute. So how's your program work with the kids? Like, how do these guys, how are they here? Like, how, how does the whole thing work? Like, yeah, y'all want to tell them how y'all, what y'all be doing? So, um... For, uh, at this ranch, we consider like junior staff. So we have a lot of um, little kids who are kind of like under us. So we help them ride, like get the fundamentals down, how to take out the horse, how to tack, out, tack, tack up the horse and get them ready to ride. Then we gotta we teach them better posture and stuff. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, like we teach them how to like ride, how to control the horse, and, like leading and stuff, basic stuff. How old are the kids you guys are working with? They young. Between, uh, eight. All the time. High school. Eight, eight to 11. Eight to 11. Yeah. And it says it's a lot because it says a lot because these guys was all fresh in. And now they teaching kids. You know what I'm saying? That's they great. Been here. How long y'all been here? Probably two years, maybe two, three, three, three years. Three years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now you see, you know what I'm saying? This is this is what they do now. This is what they have committed to. And they're advanced enough to be able to teach other kids now the basic fundamentals. Everybody is still in that basic fundamentals. Right. Lane, lane. And just some are more, have moved further along in that than others. And they try to have the kids. It's, it's important for us to have the kids teaching the kids because they can relate. Yeah. You know exactly what they're feeling, exactly what they're going through, and kind of help each other move along. Um, we have different programs. We have some after school stuff. And Kim can talk to, talk to you about that. We got after school stuff. We basically just start them up with the basics, um, like they were saying. But we actually open up another lane with four and five year olds. So these are like wow. baby babies. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're, you know, basically all we want to do is just build confidence. Build, mm -hmm. build the, the, the fundamentals of confidence so that way when they turn 10, 11, 12, you know, they can get out there and have no fear on the horse, but also have control. And, you know, so they, these three right here have come a long way by helping me with doing that with the kids because they're still learning how to keep the, their balance. And they, right. you know, they're still, you know, man, how you do this? So. It's like a domino effect. And there was something out with like with the Alex was telling me like you guys kind of want they got to do the grades, have the grades up, got to have homework oh, done and stuff. If, they, if, if your grades are not right, you're not right. So it's just like a sport, just like Pretty a school. Much, yeah, 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 I mean, just we like I remember. The goal of it is like the horses attracts them, and then we would say, okay, you want to ride this horse? Let me see what you got going on. Do your homework, make sure you're getting your stuff right. Are you behaving? Are you whoop whoop? Okay, now because we we always try to instill like riding the horse and being around horses is a privilege. The goal is not to just come and just hop on the horse. The goal of our program is to come learn life, learn the good stuff, learn yeah. the appreciation for the land, the animals, how to sit here and just hear the, hear the birds and the bees and just to appreciate the environment. And then, okay, now the horse becomes a companion. Okay, now you can ride a horse. Now you win. Now you win in life. You feel what I'm Absolutely. Yeah, those, those Absolutely. Lessons trans transfer over pretty, pretty strongly. That's that's incredible. I, mean, I think yeah. it's so so good what you guys are doing, getting getting these guys out. I mean, I know what horses have done for me for my life. I made a career out of it. You know, I mean, I'm doing basically doing what I love every day and getting paid to do it. So yeah. great, man. I hope you get one of these kids trained up good enough. You send them out to me. Yeah. To come out and come help me out. Oh yeah, definitely. Get to work. Would y'all be interested in that kind of stuff? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, heck yeah, that's the goal, man. We, the goal is to bring people like yourself here and let them see you and then say, man, I might want to do that, you know what I mean? All right, have you been on a reigning horse before? I have not. Let's change that right now. I think it's time for me to get on a reigning horse. It's, it's time. time. Oh, there you go. You'll see, I got, I got that same move. Yeah. I got it, I got it. We do it in Long Beach too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Test it out, man. I should have got your driver's license before you got on. <laughs> there we go, a little lead change. On the on the stop. Yeah, so you're gonna release, yeah, push down and say whoa. Yep. Yep, and you can pick up a little. If when they're doing when they're on when they're dialed in, you don't have to pull at all. You just put your hand down and she just locks it up. There you go. <laughs> the idea, that's that's it right there. And then you just add a lot of speed, do the same thing, and she'll just stop on a dime. So this is to, to do the spin, is it everything inside or is it about pushing? So, so on, on these old broke ones, it's one hand, so you just touch her with the neck rein, you'll release your inside leg, and just bring your hand across, yeah, the direction you want to go. Right. Just bring your hand over and cluck to her. Lower your hand just a little, there you go. You got it. Wow. 
Yeah, you got it. Wow. That is so cool. Pull across. Little kick with the outside leg. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze your left leg and kiss. There you go. And then once you get going, just kind of keep your legs kind of almost pedaling a little bit. Yeah, go ahead and go, try her again. Faster. Keep going, keep going, I'll tell you when. Okay. Hang on a second. Watch this. Watch this though. Put some spurs on you. She's used to these spurs. Be real light with them though, okay? So you live close too also? Yeah. How old are you, Isaiah? 15. 15? Your family do horses? No, just me. You're the only one? Let's try it in one hand. Let's see, let's shorten up to about right there. Let's spin her to the right. All I want you to do is just bring your hand over just like that. Put your hand back in the middle now. And stop. You got it. Then when you stop, just put your hand down and say, well, now back her up. Back her up. Pull, pull, pull a little harder. Pull a little harder. Pull a little harder. Pull a little harder. There you go. Now drop your hand and just settle. Now spin her to the left. Real slow with your hands. Don't pull her nose to the inside so much. That's it. Now kick her with that spur, with that right spur. And stop. That's it. Now just let her walk around a little bit. You got it. Pretty fun, huh? Yeah, I was just thinking you're like a you're like a reigning dealer. Like you go around just getting people hooked on <laughs> right. Just break, come in, and let them get on and get a feel for it. But I mean, this shows you why reigning horses are so good. I mean, these guys can ride, obviously, but. These, these horses are so well trained. They can do just about anything. And this kid, he, he can ride too. He's getting around pretty good. Squeeze your left leg in. There you go, you got it. You kind of got to keep telling her to go forward. If you don't, she'll just stop. Don't be afraid. You can go ahead and kick her. Ride her like she's yours. You want to spin her? Let's see it. Neck rein, bring it across, and you can use the outside leg too. Pull a little harder. Pull a little harder. There you go. Kick her once. There you go. There you go. Kick her again. Kick her again. Pull a little more. Pull a little more. There you go. Now stop. That's it. Pull, pull a little more. Pull a little more. You got to pull that steering wheel. There you go. That's it. Nice. Pretty fun, huh? Here we go. Look how smooth that is. That is so smooth. How you doing, man? Matt. Yep. Stone. How long have you been out here? Well, I, I was born into some. Right. We all kind of met like as pre yeah. like. I came, because I'm from Inglewood originally, I came around, you know, I was probably, what, like 14? Because I, I learned at the equestrian center. It was just too strict over there, and I wanted to ride with people more like me. Yeah. So, uh, at my middle school, one of my friends, his cousin, had horses in Compton. And, like, she invited me out to a ranch, but it was at the hill. And uh, this is back before, like, it was map, I mean, uh, you know, GPS and shit, uh. I had to go on map quest. <laughs> so my mom Googled it, like horses in Compton, because we ain't never really been to Compton like that. Right. This place came up. It wasn't the right place. We didn't know them. Yeah. <laughs> so we just came, we like drove up in the neighborhood and we was like, no f ranch is here. Yeah. And then uh, my east's uh, right hand woman was outside, Kathy. And like we stopped and asked her, like, do you know where any like stables are? And then she was like, horses? We got horses in the back. And it was like right on the right time because it was like right when um, Maisha was switching over from Western to English. And that's what I was learning at the equestrian center was English. Yeah. So it was just like, 
And then she was getting all those English donors. And then I was like, right off the bat, I just started competing. And then what you trying to do? Just start getting good. <laughs> oh, you were competing in it too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, okay. still, he still does. Oh, okay. Yeah, he still get out there. Yeah. Jumping? Yeah. Oh, wow. I actually started dressage. That was my first, like... I could tell with your hands. I thought this guy's definitely... Yeah. He's... Yeah. Like, yeah. I recommend dressage to everybody that's starting out. I think Rainey's about as close to dressage, except we get the speed and get to go. But, I mean, it's the same type. you got to be real detailed. Yeah. Let's see that stud of yours. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, he over here. My Rolls Royce right here, brother. Want to ride clean on Sunday. That's the Take one. Him out, shine him up. Throw What's that his black on him? His name is Golden Low. You know, because I do the music and stuff. Oh, and uh, all the rappers and stuff, they always get the Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Uh -huh. I was like, bro, I'm going to get the exotic horse, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, 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 it yeah. It's funny, too. Uh, <laughs> I ride them. And like dudes will be pulling through and they're like like fancy ass cars and stuff. And they like stopping staring at me, bro. They're like, oh. <laughs> I thought I was so dope with the foreign car. Like, cause with the, you know, you got the Ferrari right. on the car, but I'm like, bro, I got an actual I got horse. the horse. I've oh, got the horse. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a walker, so <laughs> he did it. And this dude is he's heavy, so he's low center of gravity. Yeah. I'm just rolling him on trail, bro. It's like not even, it's just like, am I even on a horse right now? One other thing too, Randy, you, so you got a nonprofit, right? Yes, Because I want to make sure everybody knows about that because I know in our world, sometimes we get some horses, maybe they're, you know, something might happen and they're, they're, they maybe have a slight injury or yeah, something nice or stuff. they're getting older where they can't continue to compete at a high level and like we'll donate them to colleges, you know, and get, and get the write-off and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, you know, and, and try to find good programs, get the kids involved, like the college stuff, they got stuff for girls, you know, for the scholarships and yes, stuff, I'm absolutely. sure you know, but like how's your nonprofit work here? Like if people are watching, how can they get involved and help? Absolutely, so our website for the nonprofit is ComptonJuniorEquestrians.org, uh, and there is where you can go read all about the, uh, the program, figure out how to donate if you wanna do that, figure out how to support or if you wanna volunteer. There's various avenues that you can support the program, but we certainly take donations of horses. Our horses are always in need. That's been our story since 30 years back. It's like we always kinda just, stumble find our way to some horses or get them in any way that we can um you know it could easily be a high cost operation right but if yeah. we got good folks that say hey i got these horses a lot of our horses come through that through that way just from donations all right or, or somebody will sponsor a horse or something like that so always open to talk about horses uh obviously operating cash is is, is uh -huh. very much needed yeah. because to run a ranch it's high overhead. I, I get it. I you know, know what I'm that. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a hustler, so I'm in the streets 24-7 yeah. trying to make it work. And, you know, we've been blessed and fortunate to be able to do that. So we always uh, happy to take cash uh, or donations, just, just, from, just money, just that helps feed, keep the ranch alive, be able to provide programming for the kids and pe be able to put us an opportunity to go on the road and go take them to do stuff. You know, we got to put gas in these trailers. We got to have people, hands yeah. on deck, vets and everybody. So y'all know what, y'all know all yep. about that. So. My brother, right. I appreciate the hell out of you, man. Right. Thanks for having me out. Man, you, you, these, just a little, a uh, few minutes, a little hour, whatever. Yep. Oh, the impact you have on them, sky high, life changing. That's what it's about. Just, it's just, it's okay, they got to see it one time. Yeah. Once they see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He broke, man. Oh. Yeah. We better put her away, guys. I think she's had enough for the day. Wait, Randy, we better close this vlog down. Back in the frame. Look at, yeah, here he's back on. So. You guys, I'm so glad we got a chance to come out and check out what Randy's doing here at the Compton Cowboys. Uh, this definitely won't be the last time that, that we talk. Please, you know, check out O3 Animal Health. We thank them for, for helping bring me out here. I want you to check out Compton Cowboys. We're gonna put all the links below. Go check those out. You know, check out their nonprofit, any support they could get. Compton Junior Equestrians. There it is right there. The kids, the community is what that's all about. There it is. So I wish I could stay longer, honestly, but we got the horses literally out front in the street, and we better get out of here before we get a ticket. Yeah, let's Take do it. Take your next time. All right, y'all, gang. We appreciate you, my All right. brother. Yes, sir. All right, that's a wrap. Yeah, oh, yeah, she's so good. She's looking around. She's like, we're not in Arizona anymore. <laughs> we're not in the desert. What's up with all these cats in the room? We're not in the desert. Yeah, baby, you in the hood now. Yeah, welcome to the hood.